Let's talk about the number one best remedy for cataracts. Did you realize that one in four people over the age of 65 has a cataract? And by the time they reach 80 years old, one in two people will have a cataract. 28,000 people a day worldwide develop cataracts. Many people actually go blind because of it. All it takes is a little bit of oxidative stress to the lens of the eye to start developing cataracts. Oxidative stress is kind of like a rusting out of a tissue. Normally in the lens of the eye, you have this organized protein. This protein is called crystalline. It's one of the oldest proteins you have in your body because you developed it when you were in an embryo before you were actually born. The problem with this protein is it never gets replaced like other tissues. It's not like your liver that can regenerate because once you start getting damage in the lens, that tissue does not replace. So over time, you have a lot of things that can damage the lens, something called glycation. Glycation is where you have a sugar that connects with a protein and it gets stuck and now it becomes unusable to the body. That protein becomes damaged. This is why a lot of diabetics develop cataracts earlier than they should. Of course, as we age, we also develop them. Also, steroids can really affect the eye. If you're on prednisone, for example, glycation for too much sugar or oxidation without having enough antioxidants built up in the lens of the eye. Problem is the lens of the eye becomes kind of frosted, looking through a dirty lens where you can't quite see out of it. Then people get surgery. Not all surgeries can cure it, and there are definitely complications. There's a remedy or an antidote to cataracts that is very effective and it's very safe. This video is on this book right here by a British medical doctor. I'm gonna summarize the book and then I'll put a link down below of the book so you can check it out if you wanna get it. In this book, the doctor talks about several remedies or antidotes, some drug approaches like metformin and other diabetic medication, which they have side effects, but he also talks about some natural things that also work very well. And one is a very specific form of carnosine. Carnosine is a very unique compound that can be combined in a certain form that allows it to be transported through the eye and penetrate the lens. It's a super potent antioxidant. It has the potential to dissolve these damaged proteins in the eye. Not to mention it actually activates your own antioxidants. The solution is not to take it as a supplement, but to take it in a drop form, but not as carnosine. Because if you just take straight carnosine in a drop and you put it in the eyes, it won't work. What you have to do is you have to combine it with a few things to allow it to be carried through the eye into the lens because the lens is a little bit deeper into the eye. You need carnosine in this form, N-acetylcarnosine, N-A-C. It can be transported through the eye and once it gets in the eye into the fluid around the lens, then it breaks apart and it allows the carnosine to do its magic. During an experiment performed at the Moscow Hemholtz Research Institute of Eye Diseases, scientists have used NAC eye drops, 1% concentration on rabbits in the laboratory. They compared this treatment with inactive eye drops. NAC was able to reach the inner parts of the eye after about 15 to 30 minutes. During this process, NAC was broken down, which is then free to work against glycation. In the lens of the eye, you also have a lot of membranes in there. The carnosine can penetrate and navigate through the fat membranes, and so it reaches deep into the cell. During this experiment, no side effects were reported. The authors concluded that NAC is proposed as a treatment for eye disorders, including cataracts, glaucoma, corneal disorders, inflammation and complications from diabetes. Why would it improve complications of diabetes? Well, because diabetes increases your risk for cataracts. The eye is one of the big targets for diabetes. A group of scientists who performed in earlier rabbit experiments studied the effects of NAC drops on humans. The scientists selected 49 volunteers with an average age of 65 years who had established age-related cataracts. They then divided the patients into three groups. Group one, they treated with a 1% solution of NAC eye drops. Group two was only treated with the placebo eye drops. And group three was left untreated. The patients were examined at two to six months intervals. After six months, approximately 41% of eyes treated with NAC presented a significant reduction in the clouding of the lens. 90% of the treated eyes showed a gradual improvement of vision. 89% of the eyes showed up to a 100% improvement of sensitivity to glare. I mean, just think about what they did. 
They used a natural remedy with very little side effects, if any, to help get rid of cataracts. Let me also answer two questions out of the book. How long do I need to use the drops for a cataract? At least three to five months, because it's not an overnight thing. It's gonna be a while before it actually corrects everything. You're not using a toxic drug, You're using something that's more natural and it slowly dissolves some of these proteins that are damaging or clouding the eye. In this video, I'm not claiming that this natural remedy can cure anything. I'm just giving you information to maybe take a look at it. Another interesting thing about these NAC drops is that when you search for them on Amazon, you can't find them. I mean, it's weird because I did see it a long time ago, but now you can't find it. You see a different type of NAC drops, but not the N-acetyl carnosine drops. However, I did find a couple sources where you can find these drops online, but not necessarily on Amazon and I will put those links down below. What lessons can we learn from this video? The risk factors, diabetes, consuming junk foods, steroids, are all things that speed up the process of cataracts. Cetals are the worst of the worst, I would avoid those. Antioxidants can protect you against cataracts, and I'm talking about onions, for example, is a good antioxidant. Egg yolks, leafy green vegetables, grass-fed red meat, also can help you build up antioxidants to help fight these things. Vitamin A is also really important in the eyes. This is why cod liver oil is a good source of vitamin A and so is uh, grass-fed liver. And lastly, the B vitamins, uh, specifically B6 and B2 and folate, very important for the eyes. And my goal is to give people alternative solutions that don't give you a lot of side effects that can work on a natural level, yet also tell you how to get to the root cause. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book, goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.